Aircraft with fly-by-wire flight controls usually have computer-controlled flight control modes, sometimes also called flight control laws, they are an application of modes in user interfaces. Their purpose is to modify the way in which human control inputs are translated to the flight control surfaces, and ultimately its path of movement, in a way appropriate to different situations or flight regimes. A reduction of electronic flight control can be caused by the failure of a computational device, such as the flight control computer or an information providing device, such as the ADIRU. Electronic flight control systems (EFCS) also provide augmentation in normal flight, such as increased protection of the aircraft from overstress or providing a more comfortable flight for passengers by recognizing and correcting for turbulence and providing your damping. Two aircraft manufacturers produce commercial passenger aircraft with primary flight computers that can perform under different flight control modes or laws. The most well known are the normal, alternate, direct, and mechanical laws of the Airbus A320 A380. Boeing's fly by wire system is used in the Boeing 777, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and Boeing 747 28. These newer aircraft use electronic control systems to increase safety and performance while saving aircraft weight. These electronic systems are lighter than the old mechanical systems and can also protect the aircraft from overstress situations, allowing designers to reduce over-engineered components, which further reduces the aircraft's weight. <laughs> <laughs> Flight control laws Airbus. Airbus aircraft designs after the A300, A310 are almost completely controlled by fly-by-wire equipment. These newer aircraft, including the A320, A330, A340, A350 and A380 operate under Airbus flight control laws. The flight controls on the Airbus A330, for example, are all electronically controlled and hydraulically activated. Some surfaces, such as the rudder, can also be mechanically controlled. In normal flight, the computers act to prevent excessive forces in pitch and roll. The aircraft is controlled by three primary control computers captains, first officers, and, standby, and two secondary control computers captains and first officers. In addition there are two flight control data computers FCDC that read information from the sensors, such as air data airspeed, altitude. This is fed along with GPS data, into three redundant processing units known as Air Data Inertial Reference Units that act both as an Air Data Reference and Inertial Reference. ADIRUs are part of the Air Data Inertial Reference System, which, on the Airbus is linked to eight Air Data Modules, three are linked to pitot tubes and five are linked to static sources. Information from the ADIRU is fed into one of several flight control computers primary and secondary flight control. The computers also receive information from the control surfaces of the aircraft and from the pilot's aircraft control devices and autopilot. Information from these computers is sent both to the pilot's primary flight display and also to the control surfaces. There are four named flight control laws, however, alternate law consists of two modes alternate law 1 and alternate law 2. Each of these modes have different sub modes ground mode, flight mode, and flare, plus a backup mechanical law. Topic. Normal law Normal law differs depending on the stage of flight. These include Stationary at the gate Taxiing from the gate to a runway or from a runway back to the gate Beginning the takeoff roll Initial climb Cruise climb and cruise flight at altitude Final descent, flare and landing. During the transition from takeoff to cruise, there is a five second transition, from descent to flare, there is a two second transition, and from flare to ground, there is another two second transition in normal law. Topic. Ground mode The aircraft behaves as in direct mode, the autotrim feature is turned off, and there is a direct response of the elevators to the side stick inputs. The horizontal stabilizer is set to 4 degrees up but manual settings e for center of gravity override this setting. After the wheels leave the ground, a 5 second transition occurs where normal law, flight mode takes over from ground mode. <laughs> flight mode 
The flight mode of normal law provides five types of protection, pitch attitude, load factor limitations, high speed, high AOA and bank angle. Flight mode is operational from takeoff, until shortly before the aircraft lands, around 100 feet above ground level. It can be lost prematurely as a result of pilot commands or system failures. Loss of normal law as a result of a system failure results in alternate law 1 or 2. Unlike conventional controls, in normal law vertical side stick movement corresponds to a load factor proportional to stick deflection independent of aircraft speed. When the stick is neutral and the load factor is 1 gram, the aircraft remains in level flight without the pilot changing the elevator trim. Horizontal side stick movement commands a roll rate, and the aircraft maintains a proper pitch angle once a turn has been established, up to 33 degrees bank. The system prevents further trim up when the angle of attack is excessive, the load factor exceeds 1.3 grams, or when the bank angle exceeds 33 degrees. Alpha protection alpha prot prevents stalling and guards against the effects of wind shear. The protection engages when the angle of attack is between alpha prot and alpha max and limits the angle of attack commanded by the pilot's side stick or, if autopilot is engaged, it disengages the autopilot. High speed protection will automatically recover from an overspeed. There are two speed limitations for high altitude aircraft, VMO maximum operational velocity and MMO maximum operational Mach. The two speeds are the same at approximately 31,000 feet, below which overspeed is determined by VMO and above which by MMO. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flare mode. This mode is automatically engaged when the radar altimeter indicates 100 feet above ground. At 50 feet the aircraft trims the nose slightly down. During the flare, normal law provides high AOA protection and bank angle protection. The load factor is permitted to be from 2.5 grams to minus 1 gram, or 2.0 grams to 0 grams when slats are extended. Pitch attitude is limited from minus 15 degrees to plus 30 degrees, and upper limit is further reduced to plus 25 degrees as the aircraft slows. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Alternate law. There are four reconfiguration modes for the Airbus fly-by-wire aircraft: alternate law one, alternate law two, direct law, and mechanical law. The ground mode and flare modes for alternate law are identical to those modes for normal law. Alternate law 1 ALT1 mode combines a normal law lateral mode with the load factor, bank angle protections retained. High angle of attack protection may be lost and low energy level flight stall protection is lost. High speed and high angle of attack protections enter alternative law mode. ALT1 may be entered if there are faults in the horizontal stabilizer, an elevator, yaw damper actuation, slat or flap sensor, or a single air data reference fault. Alternate law 2 ALT2 loses normal law lateral mode, replaced by roll direct mode and yaw alternate mode, along with pitch attitude protection, bank angle protection, and low energy protection. Load factor protection is retained. High angle of attack and high speed protections are retained unless the reason for alternate law 2 mode is the failure of two air data references or if the two remaining air data references disagree. ALT2 mode is entered when two engines flame out on dual engine aircraft, faults in two inertial or air data references, with the autopilot being lost, except with an ADR disagreement. This mode may also be entered with an all spoilers fault, certain ailerons fault, or pedal transducers fault. Topic. Direct law Direct law DIR introduces a direct stick to control surfaces relationship. Control surface motion is directly related to the side stick and rudder pedal motion. The trimmable horizontal stabilizer can only be controlled by the manual trim wheel. All protections are lost, and the maximum deflection of the elevators is limited for each configuration as a function of the current aircraft center of gravity. This aims to create a compromise between adequate pitch control with a forward CG and not too sensitive control with an AFT CG DIR is entered if there is failure of three inertial reference units or the primary flight computers, faults in two elevators, or flame out in two engines on a two-engine aircraft when the captain's primary flight computer is also inoperable. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mechanical law. 
In the mechanical law backup mode, pitch is controlled by the mechanical trim system and lateral direction is controlled by the rudder pedals operating the rudder mechanically. Topic: <laughs> Boeing 777 primary flight control system. The fly-by-wire electronic flight control system of the Boeing 777 differs from the Airbus EFCS. The design principle is to provide a system that responds similarly to a mechanically controlled system. Because the system is controlled electronically the flight control system can provide flight envelope protection. The electronic system is subdivided between two levels, the four actuator control electronics and the three primary flight computers the ACES control actuators from those on pilot controls to control surface controls and the PFC. The role of the PFC is to calculate the control laws and provide feedback forces, pilot information and warnings. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Standard protections and augmentations. The flight control system on the 777 is designed to restrict control authority beyond certain range by increasing the back pressure once the desired limit is reached. This is done via electronically controlled backdrive actuators controlled by ACE. The protections and augmentations are, bank angle protection, turn compensation, stall protection, over-speed protection, pitch control, stability augmentation and thrust asymmetry compensation. The design philosophy is, to inform the pilot that the command being given would put the aircraft outside of its normal operating envelope, but the ability to do so is not precluded. <laughs> normal mode In normal mode the PFCs transmit actuator commands to the ACEs, which convert them into analog servo commands. Full functionality is provided, including all enhanced performance, envelope protection and ride quality features. <inaudible> secondary mode Boeing secondary mode is comparable to the Airbus alternate law, with the PFCs supplying commands to the ACEs. However, EFCS functionality is reduced, including loss of flight envelope protection. Like the Airbus system, this state is entered when a number of failures occur in the EFCS or interfacing systems e.g. ADIRU or SAARU. <laughs> 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 